G'day, just here at the Cultural Centre, morning walk, hello. <laughs> I was just thinking while I was on the bus, I was listening to The Global Brain by Howard Bloom. He's a very awesome, awesome guy, Howard Bloom, uh, wrote The Lucifer Principle. And The Global Brain talks about um, you know, the up-and-coming internet, networking, and how that's just a start of of things such as you know the the universal global consciousness and stuff like that and that kind of had my brain segueing into star trek discovery the latest star trek discovery i know there's some fans that actually hate new star trek discovery but i actually find it quite interesting myself um all about the mycelium and the mycelium network and being in many places at once and um time and science and all that sort of stuff um I thought it was just a random thought came out because all of us are basically, you know, connected along the energy network, kind of like the mycelium around the universe, and you can travel along them. Uh, some people can manipulate it um, and use that, and even the feel and energy you get off other people. Like, you know what I mean? Even if you're totally secular or like science based, you realize that, you know, people. Uh, you know matrix wise like their own little batteries they have energy some people have more some people have less some people can use it more some people can use it less some it's more focused some it's more dispersed but when you look around you kind of like Jedi you know the force is all around you it's in everything um, like the mycelium network uh, in Star Trek is around everywhere like there is a global consciousness of of a sorts, whether you want to call it God, energy, science. Hi, I'm Anarchy. Um, it's there's just so much around. Um, hi, Venude. Um, that you know, I mean, when you look around, there's so much potential, so much energy, so much life around. Uh, even when you think there is no life, example, the Dead Sea. I've watched documentaries and. Stuff about the Dead Sea was not actually really dead. <laughs> so how I got that name, I have no idea. Deserts, you think that are barren, it's, it's so not. There's love just there waiting for the right conditions. And uh, I think it's good they can make the right conditions to be able to bring about life. And I know that there's a guy who studied in Australia and he's up in China um, bringing life back to the deserts using simple plants you know he's just um you know start off with a few a few little plants and it's just grown and now it's flourishing green and full of life so my random kitty thoughts in rubber while i'm walking to walking around hey megan um is that you know occasionally stop and look around you just realize even in your lowest points there is still a lot of energy around you. Sometimes, maybe it's the energy that's overwhelming you. Um, other people might be putting their energies onto you. Um, how you deal with that is uh, is an interesting thing. We all deal with it in different ways depending on who we are, because we are also individuals, which is we are all tied in this amazing energy network. So have a great day. I'm going to go because. <laughs> It's getting kind of noisy. Yeah, bye. Love you guys.